On March 30th, 2025, the vibrant hum of Kotoka International Airport in Accra, Ghana will meet a new rhythm as the airport begins a crucial two-year maintenance project to upgrade its runway infrastructure. This meticulously planned endeavor, set to unfold over the span of two years, reflects Ghana's commitment to maintaining its place as a central hub in West African aviation. The story, however, is not just about machines and asphalt. It's a tale of adjustment, resilience, and foresight, as airlines and passengers alike prepare for the inevitable challenges ahead. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. The Ghana Airports Company Limited, GACL, custodians of the nation's gateways to the skies, officially announced the project in a letter dated October 23rd, 2024. Signed by the managing director, Mrs. Vaughn Nana Afri Opar, the communication laid out the core details. Starting from late March, Kotoka's runway will be closed daily between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. local time. The maintenance, termed as runway overlay works, is aimed at enhancing the safety, reliability, and operational efficiency of one of the busiest aviation hubs in West Africa. At first glance, six hours of closure may seem like a small price to pay for the long-term benefits the project promises. But this decision, as straightforward as it may appear, carries ripple effects across the complex ecosystem of global aviation. Airlines, cargo handlers, airport personnel, and passengers now face the intricate dance of adjusting schedules, rerouting operations, and adapting to a new normal for the duration of the upgrade. For airlines such as Royal Air Maroc, Turkish Airlines, Allied Air Cargo, and Ethiopian Airlines, key operators at Katoka, this runway closure poses a significant logistical challenge. These carriers are among the first to recalibrate their operations to fit the new framework. Nighttime flights, a vital component of their schedules, will require rescheduling, while cargo flights, often dependent on the relative calm of overnight hours, may need to be reimagined. Despite these hurdles, the airlines have already begun crafting strategies to navigate the restrictions, ensuring that operations continue as seamlessly as possible for the benefit of their passengers and stakeholders. Behind the scenes, the JCL is taking every step to ensure the process is as smooth as possible. While the initial announcement provided the broad contours of the project, the company has committed to offering a detailed schedule of works along with a contact list for key personnel involved. This level of transparency is intended to foster collaboration and mitigate disruptions, signaling a proactive approach to addressing concerns that may arise over the course of the two years. But what exactly does a runway overlay entail? For the uninitiated, it is far more than a cosmetic upgrade. A runway is the beating heart of any airport. Its structural integrity, surface condition, and operational reliability directly impact the safety and efficiency of every takeoff and landing. Over time, wear and tear from thousands of aircraft movements and exposure to the elements can degrade its quality. An overlay is a process of reinforcing and resurfacing the runway, ensuring that it meets modern, aviation's modern aviation standards while preparing it for the demands of increasingly larger and more sophisticated aircraft. This particular project at Katoka is no small feat. It will require a coordinated effort involving teams of engineers, heavy machinery, and precise scheduling to ensure that the airport can operate during the day while construction progresses each night. The project also tells a broader story about Katoka International Airport's role as a critical link in the region's transportation network. As the primary international gateway to Ghana, Katoka has long been a symbol of the country's connectivity to the world. From bustling passenger terminals filled with travelers embarking on journeys to the steady stream of cargo flights delivering goods, the airport serves as a lifeline for business, tourism, and trade the runway upgrade will further solidify its reputation as a world-class facility, ensuring it can handle the increasing traffic and larger aircraft that have become hallmarks of global aviation. For passengers and local businesses, the temporary inconvenience of adjusted flight schedules will ultimately be outweighed by the benefits of a more robust and reliable runway. Enhanced safety, reduced risks of delays, and the ability to accommodate a wider range of aircraft types 
are just some of the outcomes that will make travel to and from Ghana a smoother experience. For cargo operators, the improvements mean more efficient operations, a crucial factor for industries relying on timely deliveries. Yet this is also a moment to reflect on the delicate balance that defines modern aviation. Airports are marvels of human ingenuity, orchestrating a symphony of movement and logistics every single day. When a project like Katoka's runway upgrade emerges, it serves as a reminder of how every element, from air traffic controllers to ground crews, works together to keep the system running. It's a pause fright, albeit a challenging one, to ensure that the symphony can continue to play its vital role in connecting people, places, and possibilities. As March 30th, 2025 approaches, the countdown to the project's commencement begins. The nighttime stillness of Accra will take on a different character as construction crews move in, and the hum of machinery replaces the sound of jet engines. For two years, this nightly ritual will unfold a testament to Ghana's foresight in preparing for the future. By the end of the project on March 30th, 2027, Kotoka International Airport will emerge stronger, ready to meet the demands of a rapidly growing aviation sector. The runway, revitalized and fortified, will stand as a symbol of progress, a testament to the vision and resilience of those who keep Ghana connected to the skies. For now, as airlines prepare and passengers adjust, the focus remains on ensuring the transition is as smooth as the new runway will be. It's a story of growth, collaboration, and perseverance, a journey that, much like aviation itself, is about looking ahead and reaching for new horizons. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.